أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي It is actually a very very um, deep honor to be here with you uh, I personally love South Africa and I love the South African people um, There is I feel like a connection with uh, the culture here, it reminds me a lot of actually Egyptian culture. Uh, one of the things that I really, really, um, that I love about the South African spirit is the ability to go through all sorts of challenges and um, really very, cha just so much difficulty and to continue to be resilient and never lose your sense of humor. <laughs> And that's very much like um, what I'm used to. Um, you know, my father was like this, uh, Allah Yerhamo, uh, who just passed away last year. And um, he was always, he always had a sense of humor. No matter what was happening, uh, he had a way of, um, you know, just lightening it. And I feel like the South African people are like that. So I love, I love you guys. <laughs> um, so this institute, is so important and I think I was actually looking at the uh, Ma'rifa Institute transformation through knowledge. <laughs> it's moving as I speak. Um, <laughs> um, those aren't my powers. <laughs> she did it. Um, but Ma'rifa, Ma'rifa meaning um, no, knowledge and not just knowledge and I, I wanna just take a few moments and reflect on this concept of knowledge because there's so many different types of knowledge. Um, and as we know that the, there's only one type of knowledge that will actually benefit us in the end. Uh, so for example, there is knowledge of the mind, knowledge of the tongue. Uh, these are things that you can learn, you can memorize, you can know here. Um, and then there's knowledge of the tongue, and you know we see a lot of that. This is things that you can recite, things that you can uh, read back uh, verbatim, for, perhaps. But that's not the type of knowledge that's going to benefit us in this life and the next. And one thing that's very profound is that the only type of knowledge that will benefit is the knowledge of the heart. And for knowledge to become uh, true ma'rifa, and that's why I really think it's a very um, apt name uh, and transformation through knowledge. The only type of knowledge that's going to benefit is the knowledge of the heart. And the only way to attain knowledge of the heart is you first have to gain the knowledge of the mind and the tongue. It has to start there. You have to learn the text. You have to take the time to memorize. You have to take the time to, you know, read about the seerah, learn about the life of the Prophet ﷺ, take the time. I, I was, my jaw dropped when, when um, the student was saying he begins his day at five in the morning, learning and going till eight or something. I mean, he's a child. Five to five, subhanAllah. But I'm sure he does homework after that. So, um, you know, he's a child. And to be given, you know, that level of sacrifice and commitment is, is um, awe-inspiring to me. Uh, Allahumma barik. May Allah bless all of the children and all of their parents and all of their teachers and everyone who is involved in this, in this um, purpose and mission. It's a very, very, it's a beautiful mission. Uh, but in order to go from that knowledge that you read in a book or that you memorized or that you got from your teacher and then transform it to become knowledge of the heart, there is a process there. And that process is oftentimes missed. And I think that that process is the missing link in a lot of institutions in that there is a disconnect between information and we can only call it information when it has not reached the heart. Uh, that it is, okay, we memorized, we learned, we heard, we know this hadith, we know this ayah, but it remains information before that process happens. And that process is what uh, I think like a, a lot of 
in a lot of our institutions and a lot of our teachings is missing. And that is how do we take this information and process it in such a way that it turns into true knowledge of the heart. And that process is not easy. It involves a deeper understanding, which alhamdulillah you can get from the knowledge of Arabic, the knowledge of tafsir, the knowledge of the grammar that, that you're teaching, may Allah reward you. But it also, there's something else that has to be added and that is action and experience. So that, so, so it begins with information, right? And then there has to be the process of internalizing that information, which requires knowledge of Arabic and tafsir and translation. But then you have to add to that application. You have to live these things. You have to, in, you have to absorb these concepts. When you learn in the Quran about, for example, being tested and how the prophets were tested, you're not going to be able to transform that knowledge or that information rather to knowledge of the heart until you first, well, you have to understand what it's saying, so obviously there's the translation part, but then there's the application and experience where you are put through tests. And then when you are put through tests, all of a sudden, that information which was translated so that you could access it is now being processed. And when you go through tests and you can apply what you've learned, then and only then can it turn into the true knowledge, true ma'rifah, which is knowledge of the heart. And when that happens, then it's real. And that process is not easy. And it's a process I... I really, really um, believe has been missed and neglected in a lot of our learning and institutions. One thing I just want to add is, you know, when you think about when we leave this life and we enter the grave, we're going to be asked three questions. And every child can tell me what those three questions are, and every child can answer those three questions. Who is your Lord? Easy, easy answer. Who, who is, what is your deen? And who is Muhammad Sallallahu Who is this man that was sent? So it's very easy for us to list it, list the questions, and it's even easier for us to answer. But why is it that in the grave there will be people who in this life it was easy to list the questions and answer them, but in the grave, they will say, I do not know. In the grave, they will say that I don't know the answer to these questions. And the reason for that is if it was only information that they learned here, and if it was only information that they could recite here, and it, was never, it never was processed to become knowledge of the heart, they will not be able to answer those questions in the grave. They will say, I don't know. Similarly, at the time of death, whatever is in the heart, only that can come out. You can have memorized the entire Quran and you could have said with your tongue, la ilaha illallah a million times in your life. But unless that knowledge and that la ilaha illallah was absorbed in the heart and it became knowledge of the heart tawheed was something here you won't be able to say it at the time of death and that is why as we know there are people who may have been muslim maybe muslim at whatever level but at the time of death they are not able to say la ilaha illallah and they could have people around them telling them Repeat after me, say it, say la ilaha illallah. Seems like something so easy to say. But they are not given the permission and the tongue will not utter except what is in the heart. So I want to just applaud this institution and make dua for this institution. And I pray that we have many more like this institution that are working hard to turn information 
into true ma'rifah, into true knowledge of the heart, which is transformational. As one of my teachers says that, um, he said that knowledge is not informational, it is transformational. So there is a vast difference between the two and I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless this institution and continue to bless the ummah with many more like it, inshallah. Aqulin qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum innahu ghafurun rahim subhanakallahu bihamdaka shadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiraka wa atubu ilayk. I know they said that this was the main meal but I know that's the main meal so I don't want to keep you any longer, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khairan.